up everybody out there in learning land Tyler from Tim Thumbs Pro coming at you with a new ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday but today's a little special it's the first in our van series and I'm doing it with my friend Timmy hello Timmy is a monster chord melody blues everything and he's gonna help you with some right hand dexterity so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and just jump into it um, I don't mean to talk over Timmy, you'll get to know his personality in the tutorial, and at the end we're going to say goodbye. Remember you can get printable tabs up here by becoming, in the notes, by becoming a Patreon as well. Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. Check us out on Instagram and all the other good stuff. But without further ado, I'm going to turn the floor over to my buddy Timmy. Ready bud? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, so this left hand exercise, we're not even going to use our right hand. We're just going to use our left hand to help you get situated and acclimated to your fretboard. So that way you have a better time and easier time navigating uh, through your fretboard and that way you're you know you find it easier to play so uh, what we're gonna do is with our pinky with all four of our fingers excuse me we're gonna put our index on our on the E string on the first fret and then the next session would be the second fret with the middle finger and then finally the uh, middle ring finger excuse me on the third fret and then finally the pinky on the fourth and all we're gonna do is we're gonna move our pinky up one fret with keeping the three fingers planted first and keeping the thumb planted as well. The next move, you're gonna move the ring finger to the next fret without moving the thumb. And then finally, you're gonna alternate or rotate the thumb so it's comfortable and then have the other two fingers follow to the next fret. And then you're gonna do this all the way through the fretboard until you get all the way down. Now this is gonna help you navigate, like I mentioned, make your mind, um, create a pathway for your mind to know where these higher frets are so that way you don't have to keep on looking at the fretboard itself and you can just you know you kinda just know where it's at okay. so that once you become comfortable with that the next one that you would want to attack would be to learn how to move your fingers two fingers with each other that normally don't move together so and this will really help you do more intricate chords that you're not normally um, used to doing so what we'll do is we're in the same position with uh, on the E string, uh, one, two, three, and four on the fourth fret. We're gonna move the index and the pinky together. So we're gonna go up to the next string and then up to the G string. And then we'll go back down to the C string, back to the E string together, and then back to the A string. And then we're gonna do the same, but for the middle two. So for the middle finger and the ring finger, we're just gonna hop strings. And then you're gonna notice that it may be a little bit difficult. Uh, you just have to go really slow, but you just essentially wanna build independence in between your, um, your left hand fingers. So that way you can build more strength and build more, uh, and become more comfortable with your instrument itself. All right, thank you so much, Tim, for teaching us these right hand exercises. If we do these every day, what can we expect to see in our playing? I, I normally warm up with this for at least from at least 30 seconds to about two minutes. You don't want to spend too much time on it, but you can really notice you'll go through your scales a lot faster, your, your improv will become a lot faster, and you'll start to learn different patterns as well in your soloing. You know, you're doing different finger shapes that you never would have anticipated uh, without it. You also told me some kind of physiological connection with the pinky at one time, you were explaining to me? Yes, so the reason why we're leading with the pinky is because our pinky is actually used, it's, it's a, the weakest finger of them all, but it actually is used to acclimate the central nervous system or the mind to whatever it's grabbing. So most people, when they grab an object with their hand, they usually clasp first with their pinky, and that's to associate the mind with what it's touching. So if you're doing, if you think about it, you're creating a pathway for your central nervous system to move and navigate throughout the fretboard. So very cool. Um, you want to show them the dividends, and we'll play them out with the blues and E. Sure. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Maybe not. Give me one second. All <laughs> right. So to show you how much this stuff works, we're gonna play you out with the blues and G. So here we go. One, two, three.
right, thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank right. you for having me. Until next time, check out Timmy too. I'm gonna put his links to his Instagram right here so you can see it. Go over there if you wanna see fat, nasty shredding, tasty solos, and some yummy licks. Until next time.